This is Smyrna may not realize the rich history of the antebellum home here on Old Jefferson Pike. The home known as Liberty Hill was built in 1807 by Robert Weekly, who fought in the American Revolutionary War. If the old home could talk, it would share the story of how Indians walked past during the Trail of Tears. It would speak of the first Tennessee African American state legislator, Samson Keeble, who grew up just down the road on the plantation known as Stony Lonesome. It would share seeing General Wheeler's raid around Union General Rosecrans right before the Battle of Stones River. My name is Marty Luffman. I'm a Smyrna historian, and I'm standing here today at Liberty Hill. And we're going to talk about a little bit about what Liberty Hill has seen in her lifetime. Liberty Hill was built by Colonel Robert Weekly. He got a land grant in 1807 of 167 acres, and he built this beautiful home. It's just a new day for Smyrna. I know in the 23 years I've lived here, we've seen the uh, population double, and everyone wants a home, which which is reasonable. But uh, to pave over history is, is very concerning, and the Johns King home in particular. It's uh, it's one of the, the top 10 most in danger. How many homes in any county, especially Rutherford County, can you find one home that ties together the the Native Americans, the uh, slavery, it ties together things such as the Depression. They have said this is the most historic home that's endangered, not only in Rutherford County, but as well as Tennessee. Mike Sparks reporting from Smyrna, Tennessee, MT News.